Thanks for coming to the Dr. Chris Radio Horror YouTube channel. This is going to be the first in a string of videos dedicated to the late great author John Belairs. Now you may have known that the movie The House with the Clock in Its Walls is coming out this September, directed by Eli Roth, director of Hostel and Cabin uh, Fever, and from the writer Eric Kripke, best known for creating the long-running television series Supernatural, which has uh, supposedly just been renewed for a 14th season, if you can believe that. The movie will be starring Jack Black and Kate Blanchett. Jack Black from uh, Goosebumps and Kate Blanchett from Thor The Dark World, as well as like a thousand and one other films that she's been in. All fantastic. But most recently, I'm just naming these two films. I first discovered John Belair's when I had to do a book report when I was in the fifth grade, I believe, and I didn't read The House with the Clock in Its Walls until many years later, but I did read The Figure in the Shadows, and then I discovered other books by John, and then I also discovered that he had unfortunately passed away just shortly after I discovered who he was. Um, he uh, died uh, here in Massachusetts, in Haverhill, Massachusetts, which I believe is where he's buried. Eli Roth is also from Massachusetts as well, so he was probably a huge fan of John's growing up too, because Eli Roth in his like, late 30s, early 40s, such as myself. John lived from 1938 to 1991 and was the author of 15 gothic mystery stories starring characters such as Louis Barovelt, Anthony Munday, and Johnny Dixon. And uh, Anthony Munday and Johnny Dixon were the two characters I latched onto more than Lewis. The Treasures of Aphius Winterborn, The Curse of the Blue Figurines, The uh, the Chessmen of Dune, the, the Mummy, the Will, and the Crypt. All fantastic novels. And eventually, excuse me, author Brad Strickland would take up the pen to finish writing the stories based on these characters. Baylor's was born in Marshall, Michigan, earned degrees from Notre Dame and the University of Chicago, and taught colleges at Minnesota, Illinois, and Massachusetts, and later lived and wrote in Haverhill, Massachusetts, which is where he passed away. If you go to downtown Haverhill, Massachusetts, you can see a mural uh, in honor of the late great author. A lot of information about John can be found on his we website, Belarusia, Belarusia, B E L L A I R S I A dot com. Uh, just going to spell it out because I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. Uh, John's books, most of them, the exception of maybe one or two, Figure in the Shadows definitely being one of them, were all illustrated by Massachusetts author Edward Gorey, which if you've never been to his house, it's actually been turned into an amazing museum. Now, you're not going to find any of the artwork reprinted as it never has been, and I've really tried to find out why, but it might be just be a copyright thing. The book's by John have been reprinted several times. I believe a lot of them can be found at Barnes & Noble, and I guarantee you're going to find every single book written by Belairs or Brad, uh, co-written by Brad, in your local bookstore or at Amazon or on eBay or wherever, brand new 2018 printings coming this fall, because it's a great series of books to read around the holidays, obviously Halloween, and the fall. All the stories take place, most of the stories take place in post-World War II, pre- Korean War, New England. So there's that time period where we weren't involved in any uh, war. So before the Vietnam War, before the Korean War, after the Korean War, but definitely after World War II is when most of uh, B uh, Belair's uh, stories took place. And it always involved like a teenage character, usually a boy, uh, who teamed up with a uh, mysterious, you know, elderly person, whether it be like an uncle or it be... Uh, a librarian or a, an old professor or an antique dealer, you know, something. Um, and uh, there were female characters in it as well. Kate Blanchett actually plays this kind of like old sorceress that uh, is the wife of Jack Black's character. Jack Black is the uncle of Lewis in the in the in the book. That's sorry, the movie that's coming out. Do yourself a favor. Try and go on eBay or Amazon or at an old uh, used bookstore and find the original books with the drawings by Edward Gorey. Gorey did the front and back covers of the inside front piece. And now if you buy them brand new, you're probably only going to get that front piece of artwork. The rest have been repainted. And they're they're okay. There's there's no gripe against the author, uh, the artist who redid the covers. But come on, you really got to enjoy those those front and back pieces by uh, Edward Gorey because they're just they're so beautiful. And it, it honestly, as far as my memory can serve, going back to 1990, yes, I'm old. That was my first exposure to gothic artwork. 
and I had no idea what it is I was looking at. I just remember that the images sometimes terrified me. Like when he created like monsters or shadow people or ghosts, they would always have like beady little eyes, you know, amongst a white face or white eyes amongst a black face. And it was terrifying to see sometimes. Um, I'm really looking forward to this movie coming out. And over the next several weeks or months, you're going to actually see a mini review of one of my, of each one of my favorite Bel Air's novels here on the YouTube channel. So check it out. It's probably about a two to three minute review. Really quick. Definitely go to the Edward Gorey House and uh, contact your local library for more information about the late great author John Belarus. Check out the rest of my videos here on the Radio Horror YouTube page. Like, subscribe, comment, and we also have a Patreon if you'd like to make a donation as well. Radio Horror airs on Sunday nights and Monday morning on WCW in Worcester, a live radio show. But all of our interviews and other interesting little things that we talk about can be found here on the YouTube channel. Thanks everybody. <laughs>